Welcome to the Collaboration Whiteboard Project. Visit us at www.ashbridgesbay.ca. This is our November 24, 2014 progress update. The Collaboration Whiteboard Project is an innovative learning solution from Ashbridges Bay Consulting. The project is focused on Cisco Collaboration Systems solutions. The project provides a navigable web interface of recorded whiteboard drawings describing what needs to be done to enable collaboration in your enterprise. We use a reference enterprise, Enterprise 20, to illustrate all aspects of Cisco Collaboration System Solutions deployment. Cisco's vision is any device, any content, anywhere. The Enterprise 20 objective is to deploy Cisco Collaboration. Users can have many devices. Devices include smartphones, tablets, laptops, and workstations, as well as phones of various types from simple to HD video enabled. Users will have unified messaging, a single mailbox for all kinds of messages. Users will have web as well as TUI and email access to messages. Users will have IM and presence. Users work at many locations. Users will be mobile and users will have a simple intuitive client that works anywhere on any device. Jabber. We start with Cisco's cool standard licenses, Cisco's most popular. We deploy these Cisco collaboration applications to get the most from our cool standard licenses. Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Cisco Unity Connection, and Cisco IAM and Presence. We also need a customer care solution that leverages our collaboration environment. We'll also deploy Unified Contact Center Express. So far we've covered C-Series Server and Hypervisor Deployment for Cisco Collaboration Applications. We covered BE6000s in detail. See Day 1 you see on C-Series for the playbooks and recordings. We've covered upgrading to 9.1.2. The jump upgrade procedure is discussed in detail in Day 2, jump to 9.1.2. We'll upgrade to 10.5 or higher in the new year. And we've covered installation of a two-server highly available solution for Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Cisco Unity Connection, Cisco IAM and Presence Server, and Cisco Unified Contact Center Express. See our Installation Day module on the Day 2 Greenfield tab. Now we are focused on the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build. These playbooks take us from the end of Installation Day to the point where the phone, user, and feature administration team can take over, and where we can also integrate with other applications. We have objectives for the dial plan build. We want to make it easy for users to understand how dialing works. Users' internal numbers are their external numbers but with an 8 instead of the area code. Dialing external numbers at work is just like dialing from any other phone except use a 9. Call forwarding works like users expect. If they can forward a call to a number, then callers will be redirected to that number. Call lists can be used to return most calls with one-click dialing. And users can be mobile. If users log into a site, then all dialing, internal and external, from call lists and call forwarding as well, works just like it does at that site. We'll produce dial plan end user training for a look at this from the end user perspective. The dial plan we deploy Supports abbreviated dialing at all sites. Supports overlapping 7 and 10 digit local dialing with or without post dial delay. Supports the following classes of service. Internal, local, including toll free, long distance, international, unrestricted, and no 911 versions of the above. And it ensures that call forwarding, AAR, CFER, presence, call lists, and mobility all work together as well as possible. Enterprise 20 has 10 sites. We need to route calls out local gateways at each site. Dialing is different at different sites. 
users roam between sites. Users have multiple devices, including devices outside the enterprise. We want users to dial naturally and call forwarding call lists and directories to all work in a way users understand. And we want to deploy features like AAR and CIFR. We built a lab to illustrate the Enterprise 20 build. Playbooks and recordings are based on the lab. We built a no-router solution so subscribers can easily duplicate the lab and run the playbooks. The lab environment is as realistic as possible. We have DID ranges at each site to illustrate different aspects of dial plan configuration. The Multi-Site Collaboration Lab provides simulated PSTN connectivity, allowing a comprehensive dial plan to be built for Enterprise 20. Each site can dial all different kinds of numbers. All you need to run the collaboration playbooks are two VMs and some phones. On the left is the Enterprise 20 cluster. We run the Enterprise 20 playbooks on this cluster and use the multi-site PSTN simulation for testing. On the right is the multi-site PSTN simulation cluster, a 10-site simulated PSTN with test phones to use to test the Enterprise 20 dial plan. We use different kinds of trunks to connect the clusters. We looked at the solutions in the Cisco Validated Designs, and we looked at SRNDs. We are finalizing the lessons for the dial plan build. We've uploaded the first playbooks and recordings. The remaining playbooks are close to completion. We hope to have them all available by the end of November. The ABay Lab environment subscriber content available for download today includes BAT files for the multi-site PSTN simulation, including test phones for each site, and BAT file solutions and test phone configurations for Enterprise 20 for the first playbooks. We expect the remaining solutions, playbooks, and updates on the environment to be ready by the end of November. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.